after you moved on, you left Mount Assumption mm -hmm. not long after we did, and uh, you came back here to Maine. Mm -hmm. You were the provincial. Mm -hmm. uh, stayed here in an administrative position with the order for mm -hmm. about five years. Mm -hmm. Tell us about Walsh College and uh, mm -hmm. your experience there. Uh, Walsh was probably one of the, there were a couple of, actually I was rather fortunate almost every place I went, but I loved Walsh. And I loved Mount Assumption, and I loved Africa. There are some places where you're, you're more directly involved. The 12 years that I was provincial, I was dealing mainly with brothers and administrators, you know, not almost no relationship directly with students, you know, so I, I missed those 12 years. But Walsh, I was able, I was there as an administrator, but I was also able to deal with students because I was teaching about every semester. I was, and you know, it's unusual, but every semester I was teaching one course. And I, but I used to do it Monday evening. I used to say, Monday, I'm free on Monday. Don't, don't schedule anything for me. I'm going to be teaching a course. And I would teach, uh, uh, I would teach a three-hour course on, on a Monday evening, so at least I had some contact with some students. I, you know, it's like I needed that for revitalization. Or, and yeah. then I would see students here and there, but at the same time, it was not quite like a classroom situation. I was asked uh, to go to Walsh. You know, they, at that time, Brother Robert Franca was the president. And... Uh, he was having some problems, and you know, let's, let's leave it at that. It was, you know, he was having some problems. And so they felt that they needed a new principal, a new uh, hit, uh, a president, they, they, at that time they called him. And uh, they had asked me, and in the community, you discuss it, you, you know, it's a discernment process. So we were six or seven talking about it. Is this the right thing? Who's the best one? And eventually they asked me, okay? So I accepted, but I said, I can't go to Walsh University without a PhD. I, I got a couple of master's degree, but that doesn't do any good. You need a, a PhD degree. So they, they said, well, we can give you two years, but definitely not more than two years. So I said, I'm going to have to get all the coursework, coursework I need in the first year. And the second year, I have to get my uh, dissertation. So I finally <laughs> went to Fordham because I wanted to start the program before I had finished my work as provincial. So I said, I want to go to a Catholic school. I want to go to a Jesuit school if possible. I want it to be centrally located. I got to go to Fall River. I got to go to Maine. I got to go to Plattsburgh, New York. I got to go to Canton, Ohio. And I got to go to Washington, D.C. What better than to go to New, New York? York? City. There it is. It's that. So that's how I selected it. And then uh, when I got there, they said, look, you're older than the, And they, they knew what was going to happen. Take what you want. So I took three credits during the, no, six credits during the summer, 15 credits in the first semester, 15 credits in the second semester, six credits in the summer, pass my comps, and pass my two languages in one year. So I said, well, wow, that, so that was quite a hefty schedule. And as soon as I finished, I had passed my dissertation you have to come to Waltz. I, why do you, you, can't, you promised me two years. So what happened, Marcel Sylvester, whom you know, mm -hmm. was the academic dean. So I said, Marcel, give me six months or even five months to go to Rome and then I'll get all the background information I need for my dissertation. And then what will happen, then you can decide after that, uh, you know, I can finish the rest later, but I want, I, I need the information. So Marcel agreed to be acting dean, uh, acting president, president rather. And then so he took over for one semester. And then I came in January. So I had uh, 
they had given me a year and a half. So later on during the summer, I finished it. And you really grew Walsh while you were there. You built it financially, made it financially stable. Like yeah, the student population grew, the building program, 